The United States government, through USAID, has provided high-quality seedlings to farmers in nine local governments of Adamawa State, marking World Food Day and reducing the impacts of erratic rains and floods. Our correspondent filed this report. The International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, is collaborating with Nigeria Integrated Agriculture Activity to provide assistance to farmers in Adamawa State, Nigeria. The program, funded by the United States government, is operating in nine local governments to ensure food security and produce more crops. The initiative has established 175 demo plots, including 94 in Nadama, 75 in Borno, and 6 in Gombe. Set aside to showcase and demonstrate the effect of improved practices that we have imbibed in our farmers all over the season. From the beginning of the season, we've had so many things with our farmers. We have trained them in good agronomic practices. We have train the community-based seed producer in improved uh, seed production and marketing techniques. We have trained our farmers, uh, we have exposed our farmers on demonstration plots to, good, to the practical aspect of good economic practices. Governor Fintiri praised Tinubu's government for declaring a state of emergency in agriculture to end poverty, hunger, and ensure food security, thanking the project organizers and farmers. I promise you that as long as you be involved in dry season farming this year, that he is ready to support you with all the inputs that you need. He said, we know this year, we have erratic rainforest. Coupled with the flood we had, we are in October, but we had flood, which has submerged large size of farmlands, which means there will be no yield from those farms. He said, I should encourage every one of us here to participate in dry season farming, particularly in this particular location, when we have the land and we have the water. Farmers are learning practical agricultural practices and new technologies during our demonstration with beneficiaries and, and partner organization members sharing their views. Really, it helps me a lot because I've been coming to the farm and working like manually using my energy. But now I've learned a lot. Even if I come, I will know how to farm and the type of crops to use and the type of land to use. And also, they have promised to assist us with uh, some machines to use in the farm, so I know it will ease my farming. We have to embrace change. And then the only, thing, the only way we can embrace, I mean, embrace change is to try to now embrace new farming technology, which will not be a drive to productivity, profitability, and sustainability. That's the reason why we are here today. And that's what we are trying to teach, I mean, let people know about, about the new technology, or about, I mean, improvement on, I mean, using improved variety that are resilient to all these weather figures, and then they are pest, resist, pest and disease resistant, and eye and early maturing. The U.S. government is implementing the Feed the Future program to ensure food security in northeast Nigeria, providing farmers with environmentally friendly seedlings to increase crop production. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.